So what we get from that trailer is that Chris Pine, oh no, Chris Pine, Chris, ugh, Chris Pratt, Chris, ugh, Chris Prevens, Chris Evans, <laughs> it's so many Chris's. Hello everyone and welcome back to the J-Pop channel. Now if you're brand new to the channel, I'm Jay and I'm here to talk about pop culture, to talk about entertainment, movies, TV, all the fun stuff that makes us forget about all the nonsense in the world. And one of those things is Onward, the brand new Pixar movie coming out next year in March. Now so far we don't know too much about Onward, we've gotten one teaser trailer. We know that Tom Holland is in the movie and Chris Pratt, they play brothers takes place in a mythical kind of world where there's goblins and elves and unicorns, you know, you name it, they got it. Now, it's a magical world, but it seems like a lot of the magic has gone from this world. Just like how we, as kids, everything is magical and there's wonder in the world, but, you know, once we get older, responsibilities come in and, uh, you know, the magic kind of leaves. So today, Disney has just released its second trailer, well, actually, its first real trailer for Onward, and uh, I'm really excited to see if we get more details about the plot, if we see more characters. Pixar is Disney's hit factory, with the exception of Marvel, they hardly ever miss with a movie, so I'm really excited to see how this one hits, especially considering that Pixar has recently said that they're gonna steer clear of doing sequels and focusing more on what made them popular in the first place and that is original content and we all love some good original content especially from Pixar so we got onward let's check out the new trailer right now Half of him. Ah, oh, he's just legs. <laughs> I really remember Dad having a top part. Oh, what did I do? Hi. We only have 24 this is hours great. to bring the rest of him back. Until then. Ta -da. <laughs> oh, that's great, Dad. You look just like I remember. Wow. Oh, the hocus pocus by focus. Pixie Bikers, I never thought I would see that. to be completely blown away I just really wanted more of the story and I feel like that gave me exactly what I wanted and then some I mean I love Pixar I will go right ahead and say that I'm a huge Pixar fan and although I'm not exactly blown away because I really didn't have expectations going into it. I mean, it's a brand new story. We hardly knew anything about it going into it, aside from it having a great cast and it having an amazing pedigree like Pixar. So, did I like it? Of course I did. Was I blown away? Not so much, because I'm trying to kind of gather what's going on 
in the story and uh, it seems like a great story from the second I saw that they lost their father and they're trying to bring him back just thinking about that storyline and how emotional that's gonna be I have a feeling that like many other Pixar movies that we've seen in the past this is gonna be a tearjerker and it's also gonna be a lot of fun we got some pixie bikers in there, which looks pretty interesting. Some feral unicorns, some really wacky stuff that we haven't seen pretty much ever in a movie. This is exactly what we want from Pixar. We want original, we want something new, and I'm excited. So what we get from that trailer is that Chris Pine, oh no, Chris Pine, Chris Ugh. Chris Pratt, Chris, ugh. Chris Prevens, Chris Evans, <laughs> it's so many Chris's. Chris Rock, that'd be interesting, him and Tom Holland being brothers. What we get from that trailer is that Tom Holland's character and Chris Pratt's character are brothers, obviously, and they've lost their father, and they're trying to bring him back. They find out that he has some kind of wizard staff, and, you know, there's a spell that they can bring him back for one day. And even if they're successful, if you think about that, if they're successful, you know, the decision to bring him back for one day, a family member that you lost. You know, you grieve and you deal with life without that person, and to bring them back for, you know, even five minutes would be huge, but you can imagine the emotional toll that would take on you if you were to have them back for that amount of time, and, you know, they just have, you have to say goodbye to them again. That's, uh, the kind of stuff that Pixar is known for, is, you know, getting to the heart of everything even the craziest stories. We got to the heart of a story about, you know, toys that come to life. And if I could get really emotional about a bunch of toys, I'm sure I can get emotional about two trolls, I think they are, or goblins, I don't know. Honestly, I didn't really look too much into Onward because I want to go into it fresh. And, you know, it's really rare that we get to go into uh, Disney movies now fresh because everything they're putting out is either remakes or based off of IP that they already own, so this is why I'm really excited about a new Pixar movie that's completely fresh and original. I mean, the last one that comes to mind for me that was fresh and original was Inside Out, and that was one of my favorite Disney Pixar movies. It's right up there with Wally, which is like my number one. So I think that this has so much promise. I'm really excited. It looks really sweet. You got Tom Holland who plays Spider-Man, as we all know. We got Chris Pratt who's Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy, and you know, you name it, he's in it now. I mean, you know, Jurassic World, and you know, everything. We're really excited. It has a wonderful cast. Their mom's Julia Louis-Dreyfus, who is amazing. Seinfeld and Veep, we all know. Octavia Spencer's in the movie. Um, I'm sure that there's other talent that we don't even know about that's going to be in the movie. I, like I said, didn't look into it too much, so I want to go into it fresh. So I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of cameos in there, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I am liking these trailers, just like when I watched the Joker trailer, and you can check that out right up here, uh, that I like trailers that don't really give you too much. They give you a little taste and like, you know, the first taste is free. Got to come to the theaters and check out and get the rest of it. And that's what a good trailer should do. It doesn't have to give you too much. It just has to give you enough to get you interested. And that's what this did for me. And, uh, you know, Pixar, bravo. You don't need my thanks. I know you you don't care about this little nerdy guy from New York, but uh, if anybody's watching, awesome job. I will be there in March. 2020 watching onward you know the future is really bright for pixar if they keep going this way where they're making original content they haven't made a bad original movie yet in my opinion even though i didn't love cars or the good dinosaur they still were really decent great movies they weren't you know home runs in my opinion like wally or toy story or inside out and you know a million other finding nemo you name it i don't know guys I'm really excited about it, and, you know, leave me a comment below and let me know if you're excited about this new Pixar movie. What do you think of the cast? Are you excited that Pixar is going in this direction where they're focusing more on original content? Or are you a little disappointed that Pixar isn't doing sequels anymore and you wanted to see a sequel to another one of their movies? So let me know in the comments if there's another Pixar movie that you would possibly want to see a sequel for. And that's it for today, guys. I'm really excited for Onward. I like this direction that Disney's taking, at least with Pixar, that we're getting something original for once because uh, you know it's just a slew of remake after remake I mean like what else do we need to remake like what like they're gonna run out of properties to remake they're gonna start making remakes of the remakes pretty soon I mean what the hell kind of weird Disney inception bullshit is that in any case guys you know I'm a big Disney fan so I'm gonna be back I'm already in they got me hooked and it looks great after this and I'm 
really excited for trailer two. So that's it for this reaction video. And if you want more reaction videos, you can check out the rest of my reaction videos right up here. And if you want to check out more great content on my channel, subscribe, hit the little bell icon to be up to date with all new videos when they're released. Be sure to like the video and go check out my Instagram for even more content at JPOP channel. I'll be posting a lot of stuff on there pretty soon. I'll be going to Disney World in December and there's going to be a lot of cool stuff for that. And I'm going to try to do a lot more fun, interesting stuff on all platforms. So join along with the ride and I hope to see you all there. So until next time, guys, I've been Jay. This is the JPOP channel and I'll see you again soon. Later.